Hey, it's Rachel from Scrappy Happy. Come on, let's get crafty together. Thanks for joining me today. This is a swap share. Uh, as part of the PHA group, we um, were invited by Jenny, who is Crafty Hilo Girl here on YouTube and over on Instagram, to um, participate in what was called a cutesy Halloween swap. So as part of the cutesy Halloween swap, it was supposed to be simple and short. Anything that you made that was, it had to be Halloween and it had to be cute. So no scary, um, no scary stuff. And I believe you either had to make either one or two embellishments and it was supposed to be short, simple and sweet. But looking at the box, um, you know, all of us like to do more because we do enjoy crafting and, um, so, but there was no expectation for that. So this yeah, box came from my um, swap partner, Kathy, who's Canadian scrapper girl here on YouTube. So it was kind of neat because I had two partners. My partner, Jenny from um, Crafty Hilo Girl, the host was one of my partners and Kathy. And so we, it was fun to swap with a Canadian scrap um, swap partner because often um, most of my swaps have been with um, some of my US friends so it was kind of neat so I've opened up the box so it's wrapped all pretty here is a cute little um, ghost sticker and I bet she got this at Dollarama because they had those puffy stickers like that so I'm just going to take everything out here of the box oh it's quite heavy I'm quite excited to find out what it is and open it up so nice purple De uh, decorated or tissue paper wrapped all up. So I'm going to just carefully ooh, ooh, open it up. Oh my goodness. It's wrapped so pretty. Look at this. More purple. Holy moly. So cute. So um, this is, oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. Uh, with all the shredding and the little bones. These are those bones from um, Dollar Tree that everybody's been hauling. I have a few of my stash and I never thought to, to do the decorating. When I sent Kathy's, I sent it in a padded envelope. And in hindsight, now I wish I sent it in a box like the size that she had. Um, it just, there was no savings to do it in the envelope like I originally thought. Can you believe it with packaging here in Canada that it costs, she's in the province next to me and it was more expensive to send to the United, um, to my Canadian craft partner than it was to my American craft partner who's all the way in Hawaii. It just makes no sense. So, um, a cute little coffin tag die. So I'm going to move all the shredding. Ooh, look at all these fun, amazing things. Oh my goodness. More bones. So I'm going to have to shave. Oh, sh um, save this shred. I'll just put it over there. So little sequence. Oh, lordy, lordy. Look at all these amazing goodies so a little um pen this would be cute for a traveler's notebook a little um bone pen so that's going to be fun to use for halloween i'm a classroom teacher so i think that might be fun to use in october just to make a statement so i'm not sure which one has the cutesy swap so i'm just going to open as we go and see where it is so i love this coffin die uh tag and it's all wrapped up oh here it is created by cassie so Canadian Scrapper Girl and on G I um, is her YouTube and on Instagram is Scrap Girl 2018. So here we go. Opening it up. Opening it up. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at this. This is amazing. I love Chunky Charms. And this, I have to get a closer look at this. Oh my goodness, look at all these beads. I do not have any Halloween beads in my stash, so seeing this is absolutely amazing. <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> oh gosh. This is fantastic. So that's a little fall flower and there's some candies. These are beautiful, beautiful beads. Do you have a Canadian source for these? Because I haven't seen stuff like that. Look at all those, perfect for Halloween with the purples and then the word boo here. That is fantastic. And 
the wire wrapping. See, that's the, something that I can't do. Look at all that wire wrapping. If you did all that, I need to know what your secrets are for wire wrapping because that is something that I find I haven't been able to master yet. So here, oh my goodness. So she outdid her, Kathy totally outdid herself here. So here is, look at this nicely packaged, um, pay, uh, what do you call those? Bag toppers and little sequin mix in, mixed in inside. So I'm going to make sure to save that for some Halloween shakers. And oh my goodness, look at this. It is super sweet. Shakers. I too love shakers. And look at the detail of that spider web and the star and the pumpkin. Adorable. And I'll pull this one out to have a look and then I'm going to put them back in because I just don't want them to get wrecked. Look at the lovely shaper mix. I don't have any of those. What are those things called? The sprinkles or there's a name for it. The clay, the clay sprinkles. Um, they do totally make a shaker look amazing. So I'm going to put those back in there. Super cute. And then here is some yummy candy corn flavored jelly bellies. I love jelly bellies. And oh, wow, look at these bows. This looks like doodlebug. And I love doodlebug. And I love these papers that have the little print purple and the stars is super sweet. You can never go wrong with doodlebug. And look at these flowers, all the layers. You have totally outdone yourself, Kathy. Look at these. Oh my goodness. Look at this. These are simply beautiful, beautiful layers. So there's one and two and the jewels in the center. Three. Oh, this is pretty with all those, um, sort of like a daisy and all using Halloween papers. Oh my goodness. I'm going to have some fun with these. I am going to be hopefully making a Halloween little mini album. I have all these ideas in my head of what I want to do, but time isn't like it used to now that I'm working more um, and kind of getting back into a, a routine here uh, now that summer's over. And oh my goodness, is this a journal? What is this? Oh my goodness, look at this. It's nice and hard and it has a cat and look at the, um, what do you call this? A doily, it feels like it's plastic and there's like a nice sticker and the star trick or treat and more. I really like all your layers. Um, that's something that I'm still continuing to work on is layering of all and coordinating all these um, pieces together. So super cute. <gasps> and these rosettes. Look at these rosettes. Oh my goodness. Is this the Tim Holtz die? Do you have that Tim Holtz die? Because, oh my goodness, if I knew that was a thing, I wish I bought it. Because once it became a thing, it was discontinued and you can't get it anywhere unless you want to spend $90 on one. And these are all cute. The little ghost with the bow cuddling a, cuddling a cat and Frankenstein and spider and um, another black cat. So look at that. That's so cute. And oh my gosh, there's more goodies here. There's a um, this glitter pack for dyes. And oh my goodness, look at this. Dollarama has such cool stuff. Look at these boxes. These are going to, oh my goodness, these are going to be fun to decorate. I wonder how I'm going to do it. It looks like there's gold foil and there's a little spider web tag. So those are going to be really cute decorating. Thank you so much, Kathy. This is an amazing, oh my goodness. This is an amazing swap. Considering we weren't supposed to send anything extras or it wasn't a requirement. And all the little goodies on top. Super, super sweet. So this is a hot box. Um, it says trick or treat on the box with a little print and happy Halloween with some um, enamel dots and oh ooh, are these oh my gosh these are the oh my gosh she's made me little custom sprinkle mixes and put them in the Dollar Tree um, putty containers that's what I should have looked for today when I was at the Dollar Tree with those putty containers and I haven't seen them look at all these 
awesome shaker mixes and I have shaker on the brain constantly so I am going to figure out how to use those in a in my shaker mixes thank you Kathy this is just absolutely so generous and sweet I really hope you like what I um, sent you as well so I'll put that there and ooh, an embellishment box and again look at the amazing layers on here and I wonder if that's doodle bug it looks like it could be if not it's super cute regardless and the little bow with trick-or-treating and the star so what's inside this box <gasps> oh my gosh she has sent me some of her wire wrapped beads for Halloween and I haven't gone through my stash yet to look for beads and I need to learn your techniques I was just saying to Christian today when we were chit-chatting that I want to be able to make wire wrapped beads and make do some Halloween themes so these are stunning so much work went into these look at these gorgeous oh my goodness wow I am super super impressed and need to know the tips and tricks or a video of how to do the wire wrap wow these are amazing Kathy so my own wire wrapped beads and then some of these acrylic bats and some amazing little um, monster looking eyeballs and some flowers and some Halloween pom-poms and these are amazing I've never seen these before I've admired them on other people's pods but there's a little bell look at this super super sweet Oh my gosh and then some of these stars and more googly monster googly eyes and some Halloween colored buttons super cute and some more flowers and over here are some I wonder oh wow some um these look like foam roses which would be so cute for a Halloween project and some Halloween jemmies well Kathy I have to say that you have completely overwhelmed me and outdone yourself with this swap I am so very much grateful for all these amazing I just I'm blown away by the wrapped beads because I have no idea how to even do that I keep trying and it's not successful so I am in love with this Halloween swap. Thank you so much for being my Canadian swap partner for the cutesy crafty swap, the PHA swap for 2021. I am blown away by all the crafty cuteness and thank you so much and thank you everybody who's watched this. Um, please stay tuned for my video share that I will be doing shortly once I know that my swap partners have received their um, their swap. I don't want to post it until I know that they've received it. This chunky charm is mind blowing. Love it. Love it. Everything. So thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Let's Get Crafty. I really hope you enjoyed the unboxing of this cutesy swap like I did sharing. I hope you have an amazing day and we'll see you all next time. Bye bye.